And I think I want it just a little bit brighter. Okay. Then I'm going to pat that all over again. Lightly. Okay. Like that. And you should have a look that looks like that. And the very next thing that I'm going to use is I'm going to take the orange color that I have all over my lid. And I'm using um, this neon eyeshadow box. And I'm going to go in this orange color right here. And I'm going to take a brush like this. And I'm going to pick some of that up on there. And this, actually I had fallout. That's why I'm doing my makeup last. I usually do because of the fallout. You're going to take that and you're going to paint that all over your lid where you put the white and up to your crease. And you want to pat that on because if you use a sweeping motion, then um, the color will not be as pigmented. So you don't want to sweep that across. You want to pat that on. Okay. And when you have that padded onto the general area, make sure it's padded evenly first. Okay, when you have that into the general area, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take an angled eyeliner brush, like this one, and I am using an Eco Tools brush. And I'm going to go into Sugar Peels Bulletproof. It's the black shade. And I'm going to load that onto my brush. And you're going to go right into your crease. And I want to bring it all the way over to here. You don't have to. If colors freak you out and you don't want to do that then you don't have to um you don't even really have to do it with the black you could go straight into the purple and just kind of blend it into the crease that's just how i got this look okay and you want to bring it down to about right there then i'm going to take some more and I'm going to go into there and then bring it out some. Like that. And then I'm going to bring it in just a little bit. Like that. Okay, you should have a look that looks like that. And I know it looks kind of harsh right now. But we're going to take that and we're going to blend that out. Actually, I'm going to take it a little bit more right there, okay? Next, I'm going to use an e.l.f. professional eyeshadow brush. Just a white dome-shaped brush that looks like that. And I'm going to go into Max Stars and Rockets. Very pretty color. It's a duochrome. Really like this color a lot. And I'm going to take it in there. And I'm going to blend it. So you need to fix this area right here. Where I got the black just a little bit. Okay. 
Then I'm going to blend that purple down into that black. Take just a little bit more of that. Blend it. Then I'm going to take the pink out of the same neon palette that I use. The pink is down here by the blue. I'm going to take some of that, load that on the same brush that I have the stars and rockets, and then I'm going to blend it into the stars and rockets. And you should have a look so far that looks like that. And I know it looks a little bit darker on this side than it does on this side, but I will show you how to get that look. And that is this. It's a blending brush and it's a VIP brush by Bedhead. And I'm going to take and I'm going to start blending. And this blends. And you're not blending the orange, you're just blending the purple and the black area that you put on there. And once you get that blended out more, you're going to go and sharpen that crease just a little bit more. You're going to take some more of that bullet proof. You're going to go right here into the crease. And just darkening that up a little like that. Then you're going to take the same brush and blend it out like that. And then we're going to go and use Revlon's matte eyeshadow in vintage lace back of it looks like that and I'm gonna take a another bedhead brush and this is called the love brush it looks like this and I'm gonna load some of that on there and then I'm gonna put that right into my brow bone and blend it down into the other color and that's what that should look like and I'm gonna take the same brush again and blend more okay then I'm going to take the same brush that I put the orange on with, and I'm going to take a little bit more of that orange and just pat that on like that. And that's what that should look like. Then I'm going to take the angled brush again. I'm going to go into Bulletproof. And I'm going to go across the lash line. And I got it a little bit thicker on that side. So that's okay. That's fixable. Okay. And if you didn't want to put more on there, then you could always go back and remove um, remove with a Q-tip underneath there. Um, there's videos all over YouTube showing um, how to fix your mistakes with Q-tips. The same with if you want to clean it up, you could go back with a Q-tip. Or you could use concealer. A lot of people use concealer. But anyway, I'm going to move on to the eyeliner. Now I'm going to use Perversion. I'm just going to follow my lash line and make it just a little bit thicker. Hmm. Then I'm going to marry that with this out here. Okay, and that is what that should look like. You could do a thin line if you want. You could do a thick line if you want, but I did a thick line. And the only other thing I'm going to do is this. I'm using Maybelline Falsies. And that's what that looks like. 